assalamu alaikum dear students welcome to lecture 35 uh, we were discussing uh, protected areas of pakistan so this is the third part of protected areas of pakistan outlines of today's lecture uh, we will continue studying protected areas of pakistan but in today's lecture we will discuss wildlife sanctuaries a uh, game reserves ramsar sites lecture outcome so after watching and listening to this lecture students will know about wildlife sanctuaries game reserves and ramsar sites in general and we will also discuss a few wildlife sanctuaries game reserves and ramsar sites present in pakistan we will also discuss the rules and regulations of wildlife sanctuaries uh, game reserves and ramsar sites so uh, first of all wildlife sanctuaries as it is clear from the name uh, sanctuaries it's actually a sanctuary a very safe place for wildlife and normally we keep uh, uh, those animals and uh, wildlife sanctuaries which are critically endangered mean which cannot be like uh, protected uh, they will become extinct if uh, human beings do not uh, interrupt and uh, uh, start their safe breeding so these are actually areas where uh, animals are kept for safe breeding and when their number um, is enough uh, it increased enough then we release those uh, species into the wild into the uh, wild um, like parks and game reserves in different areas so actually uh, it's also an area uh, which is owned by the government and is set aside by notification in the official gazette so it's officially announced as an undisturbed breeding ground for the protection of wildlife so as i told you it's an undisturbed breeding ground and it's uh, as an area where even the watchers the wildlife watchers the uh, wildlife officers they even they they cannot enter to uh, the wildlife sanctuaries because these are actually for safe breeding purposes and you breeding is very uh is a very critical uh, uh phenomena so which need, uh, for, uh, because um, wild animals they are too much shy and especially for their breeding they uh, need a very isolated and a safe place so wildlife sanctuary is a very safe place for breeding purpose so uh, so there are uh, many acts which are um, like prohibited in wildlife sanctuaries as uh, i told you it's a very safe place uh, even where the wildlife watchers and the wildlife officers they even cannot enter into that uh, area so uh, there are many restrictions and there are many rules uh, uh, which should be followed in wildlife sanctuaries for example public access to the sanctuary is prohibited so if it is for research purpose or it is for another uh, purpose there is no purpose you cannot enter into the wildlife sanctuary so all public access to the sanctuary is prohibited exploration of uh, forests uh, in the sanctuary is not permissible um, uh, it is permissible if it is to reduce the fire hazards or for reducing of epidemics or for the insect attacks or any other natural calamities so uh, if the purpose is to uh, for example reduce the hazards epidemics and natural calamities or insect attacks then exploration is there good but the thing is that you cannot explore a forest even inside the sanctuary uh, so the following acts are also uh, prohibited in the wildlife sanctuaries for example entry or residence so you cannot uh, set a residence or you cannot enter into the pro, pro, uh, wildlife sanctuary land cultivation is also prohibited in inside uh, wildlife so the third one is uh, damaging or uh, destructing any kind of vegetation inside wildlife sanctuary is prohibited uh, hunting killing or capturing of any wild animal is also prohibited inside the wildlife sanctuary now and another thing is firing inside or firing within the limits of 1 mile radius of the boundaries of wildlife wildlife sanctuary is also prohibited 
Uh, another important thing is the introduction of exotic species is also prohibited. Now exotic species are those species which are not native to an area and they are introduced, uh, they are brought from some other areas or countries. Like in Pakistan we have uh, the silver carp, the fish silver carp, Hypothalamus multirex. It, it, it is actually an exotic species which is introduced from China into Pakistan. So exotic species cannot be introduced into the sanctuaries because it may interfere with the local population and may destroy the local population or affect their breeding. Causing of fire. So causing fire is also prohibited inside wildlife sanctuary. Uh, polluting the water uh, which is flowing into the sanctuary um, is also prohibited. So you, you should not pollute the water which is flowing into the sanctuary. Uh, at present, uh, this is according to the book of SS Ali. So at present, there are more than 99 wildlife sanctuaries in Pakistan. The number is now, I think, more than 128. So uh, like uh, some of them are like Bund Khush Dilhan, Kohi Gesh, uh, Islamabad uh, Wildlife Sanctuary, Agram Basti Wildlife Sanctuary, Manglot Wildlife Sanctuary, Baltistan Wildlife Sanctuary, Shandur Wildlife Sanctuary. Naltar Wildlife Sanctuary, Bahawalpur Wildlife, Wildlife Sanctuary, Changa Manga Wildlife Sanctuary, we have Tonsa Bairaj Wildlife Sanctuary, Shorecoat Plantation and Hub Dam etc. There are many more which are in your book. So um, just open your books and study all those uh, 99 wildlife sanctuaries which are there. Now you may search for the rest of them on the internet. So the next one is a uh, game reserve. So game reserve is also uh, an area and it is also uh, like uh, notified by the gazette owned by the government. Uh, game reserve may be private or it may be governmental one. So game reserve is also an area where animals are uh, kept uh, like uh, in protection. But under special condition when you have a special uh, permit, you can hunt or shoot a specified number of animals uh, in a specified season uh, in that area. So a game reserve is an area where hunting and shooting of wild animals are not allowed but except under a special permit. So for this purpose, for hunting purpose or shooting purpose, you have to get a special permit from the wildlife department they will issue a special permit uh, just like other permits like work permit and taxi permit and there are many other permits for life uh, like weapon permits so you have to uh, get a special permit from the wildlife department and uh, in that permit it is specified that from this season to this season you can shoot you can hunt these 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 animals and uh, this this number so it is specified in the number the number and the season is specified in the uh, permit so it's, uh, it's an area where shooting and hunting is prohibited but allowed with a special permit now this permit may specify the maximum number of animals or birds that may be killed or trapped in the in, in the area and the duration for which such permit is valid. So in that uh, permit, at each and everything is uh, like clear. Uh, the duration, the expiry date is there. That when this permit will expire, the number of animals, the number, uh, the area, and the season is specified in that permit. Um, there are uh, more than 89 game reserves in Pakistan, and it's more than 100 now. Uh, some of them are like uh, Kazinag. Watala Game Reserve, Zangi Nawar Game Reserve, Shinwari Game Reserve, Islamabad Game Reserve, Bagra, uh, Beliamin, Nizampur, Tanda Dam, <coughs> which is in Kohat Game Reserve, Mondo Dero, <coughs> Kala Chitta, and there are many more. Uh, you have to open your books and study them all. Uh, all the names you have to uh, study them, uh, the names of the Game Reserve present in Pakistan. Ramsar sites. It's an alternate name used for wetlands. 
a convention uh, a convention was held in Ramsar Iran and that's why uh, the name Ramsar it was derived from that place Ramsar from Iran where the convention was held actually uh, uh, many migratory birds they uh, fly uh, very long distances long routes and during their migration they stay from country to country and in their migration uh, during their migration they stay in many wetlands which is uh, uh, very helpful uh, to them uh, during their migration so uh, when the scientists they realized that uh, uh, for these migratory birds or for the waterfowls or for the water birds these wetlands are very important and their destruction uh, prompted uh, like a threat uh, for their extension so that's why the scientists they held a convention uh, it was an international convention which was held in Ramsar Iran uh, on 2nd February 1971 uh, for the protection of these wetlands so the for the conservation of wetlands which are breeding sites for waterfowls an international convention was held on February 2nd 1971 it's at Ramsar Iran uh, it is also known as Ramsar Convention for Wetland Conservation. In Pakistan, uh, we have 11 wetlands. Uh, now the number is increased. The number is now more than 11. They have been they have been designated as land of international importance under the Ramsar Convention called Ramsar Sites. So in the table, below you can see them. Uh, Halij Lake, uh, Kinjar Lake. Drag Lake, Uchala Complex, and Tonsa Beraj, Chashma Beraj, Tanda Dam, Tandarwala, Kurram River, Vili, uh, Kandar Dam, and Khishgi Reservoir. So these are 11 <coughs> wetlands of the international importance in Pakistan. Uh, let's proceed to another topic, uh, lecture number six, uh, 36, and uh, uh, in this lecture, we will discuss national and international agencies which are involved in wildlife conservation. Outlines of today's lecture are number one, we will discuss national agencies involved in wildlife conservation and we will also discuss some international agencies which are involved in wildlife. So lecture outcome, after watching and listening to this lecture student will know about various national and international agencies which are involved in wildlife conservation. Wildlife management and conservation. What is wildlife management and conservation? Wildlife management deals with protecting endangered and threatened species and subspecies and their habitats as well as the non-threatened agriculture animal and game species. So the goal of the wildlife management and conservation is to protect all threatened and endangered species, also their subspecies, and also to protect their habitats. Because by protecting habitats, you are indirectly protecting the species. And with these, <coughs> wildlife management and conservation also like manage non-threatened agriculture animals and game species. The wildlife management program emphasizes both applied and basic research in wildlife ecology, management, education, and extension. Wildlife conservation, uh, you can also say like wildlife conservation is the practice of protecting plant and animal species and their habitats. So like wildlife conservation is what? It's a practice of what of protecting plants and animals species and also their habitats so it's very important to protect their habitats too as part of the whole uh, as part of the uh, world ecosystem wildlife provide balance and stability to nature's process so wildlife is very important and it is indirectly or some way directly related to our lives 
and to the world balance. The goal of wildlife conservation is to ensure the survival of these species and to educate people on living sustainability with other species by National Geographic. Wildlife management takes its into consideration the ecological principles such as carrying capacity of the habitat, preservation and control of habitat, reforestation, one is deforestation, one is reforestation, so this is reforestation, predator control, reintroduction of extinct species, capture and relocation of abundant species and management of desirable or undesirable species. So it was just a small glimpse of the wildlife management and conservation uh, but our uh, actual topic is the agencies uh, involved in the wildlife management and conservation. Uh, uh, the purpose of this few line was to introduce you to the wildlife conservation and management. Let's proceed to our actual topic. We will discuss uh, different, uh, different uh, agencies. So there are many national and international organizations which are involved in wildlife conservation and management. Uh, some of the important uh, national and international organization or agencies that are involved in the protection, preservation and conservation of threatened species are. So first um, we will discuss national agencies which are involved in wildlife conservation. Uh, Zoological Survey Department from the government of Pakistan. Their office is in Islamabad. Uh, they have a museum, Zoological Survey Department which is in uh, Karachi, uh, then there is a uh, uh, the marine biological research laboratory which is also lies in Karachi. Uh, then there are uh, like wildlife departments in each province. So this is a SIND wildlife department. Uh, they, they are actually involved in the wildlife conservation in SIND. We have the Punjab Wildlife Department and they are all they are involved in the wildlife conservation and management at, Sen, at Punjab sorry. Then we have like uh, the KP Wildlife Department and they are involved in the wildlife conservation and management at uh, uh, KP level. We have Balochistan Forest and Wildlife Department so they are like uh, uh, involved in conservation and management of wildlife at Balochistan. We have Northern Areas Wildlife Department which are involved in wildlife conservation and management at Northern Areas. Then we have some other uh, like uh, clubs in uh, agencies like the Bird Watcher Club of Pakistan. Uh, they are also involved in the uh, preservation and conservation of birds. Then there is a Pakistan Museum of Natural History uh, which is also involved in the uh, wildlife conservation and management and they, uh, they work uh, under the Ministry of Environment, Local Government and Rural Development. Uh, another agency uh, is Hubara Foundation International Pakistan. Hubara Buster is actually a bird. This is Hubara Buster. You can see the picture in the insignia. Oh, Hubara uh, Foundation International Pakistan work for the conservation of Hubara Buster. This Hubara Buster, it breeds in the Central Asia and then migrates to the warmer habitats in Pakistan, which needs protection here from the hunters. Uh, the foundation raises awareness among communities of the need to protect natural resources while at the same time they are also working for alleviating poverty through welfare measures. Loss of habitats, over hunting and trapping for trade, it causes tremendous decline in the Hubara buster population. So, so these are the reason for the decline of the population of Hubara buster. And the purpose of this Hubara Foundation International Pakistan is to provide protection to Hubara Bustard. <coughs> uh, 
Uh, another is uh, Margala Hill Society. Um, Margala Hill Society was actually established in 1989. It's a non-governmental organization. Uh, the Margala Hill National Park comprises involved uh, of the Margala Range. And the objective of Margala Hill Society is to preserve the natural environment of Margala Hills National Park. And also to prevent the shrinkage of the green areas. Uh, they also work to promote public interest in conservation, development and management of forests, wildlife and other natural resources of Margala Hill National Park. To distribute information about the Margala Hill National Park, including its history, geography, flora and fauna is the, like the Margala Hill Society is the, the Margala Hill Society. Their regular activities um, include plantation drive. The society has been regularly arranging spring and monsoon tree plantation around National Park and Faisal Mosque. Emphasis. The rehabilitation of consolidation of the existing plantation project. Small areas are taken up for specific objectives like plantation of fruit trees for the wildlife. Cultural activities. So printed material distributed among the villages. Another uh, association is the Pakistan Game Fish Association PGFA. Uh, it's a non-profit trust. Uh, concerned with the recreational fun fishing, conservation and rural community development. Integral role is in the protecting and enhancing Pakistan natural ecosystem and rural communities. Another society is the Pakistan Animal Welfare Society. It's a non-profit company which was founded in 2004 by filmmakers Maheen Zia and Mahira Umar. The aim of Pakistan Animal Welfare Society is to create a more uh, just and equitable uh, relationship between humans and animals. Aim to, the aim is to preserve and protect animal population, their integrity, diversity, welfare and well-being and to create, promote and preserve ecologically sustainable relationships globally. Another uh, agency is the Sahad Conservation Network, which uh, office located in Peshawar. Major concern of SCN. In advocacy group that lobbies for conservation of architectural, cultural heritage, as well as biodiversity in Pakistan, KP Pakistan. Collaboration. So collaborate with all the international and national agencies. NGOs, local and provincial governments and various academic institutions for sustainable biodiversity and healthier environment. Another um, is the Bio uh, Source Research Center, BRC, uh, which is located in uh, Islamabad. It's a non-profit, non-political, multidisciplinary base. Headquarters in Islamabad and main focus is on the bear conservation in Pakistan through grubbing or reduction bear baiting. It's a very cruel sport. Uh, the bear baiting is a very cruel sport and it should be stopped in our country. So the, pur the purpose of or the main aim of this main focus of this bioresources center is to stop the bear baiting. Purpose of BRC to monitor the prospective bear baiting. Another uh, is the scope, the Society for Conservation and Protection of Environment. It's also a non-profit organization. The mission of this uh, uh, society is uh, to protect environment at local, national and global level. Areas of focus are water and sanitation, social mobilization, environmental law, climate change, adaptation and migration by the another is the Shemshal Nature Trust. There is another trust, a Himalayan Wildlife Foundation, Pakistan. 
working for the protection of the bears now we will discuss international organizations or agencies which are involved in wildlife uh, the first international agency is uh, wwf a world wide fund for wildlife conservation which was uh, formerly known as world wildlife fund it was formed in 1961 its its quarter are in the switzerland they have more than 2 million volunteers throughout the world uh, every member of each country is financed by wwf and follow their rules many beautiful species of plants and animals have been secured by wwf uh, WWF aims to protect wildlife and threaten habitats. Their main aim is a protection of biodiversity on global. Another agency is IUCN, International Union for Conservation of Nature and Nature. IUCN was founded in 1948. They worked under the umbrella of UNO, United Nations Organization. It brings together many states, governments and a number of non-governmental organizations in a unique world partnership. There are about 900 members which are spread over 133 countries. IUCN encourages and assists societies throughout the world to secure the diversity of nature. It is the main agency toward which other national agencies look for guidance and conservation method. From time to time, IUCN bring out uh, an updated red list, which is popularly known as Red Data Book. Red Data Book actually uh, uh, contain a detailed information on the conservation status of every species in the world and identify identify the ecosystem in which each species live its mission is to provide protection to the endangered species on global level and to ensure that human use of natural resources is appropriate and sustainable sites convention on international trade and endangered species it work under the umbrella of international union for conservation of nature and natural resources IUCN the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora became effective on July 01, 1975. 110 countries ratified this agreement and gives protection to a large number of highly endangered species of plants and animals. They request uh, governments uh, to, to restrict or ban in the trade of endangered species dead or alive or their products such as skin fur tusks horn feathers flower etc permits are issued for activities with these species only under exceptional circumstances all activity require a permit from the improving uh, importing country and a permit from the exporting country so from both countries you need a permit also from the exporting one or from the importing one so among species listed are the gorilla, Asian elephants, Elephus maximus, and the Hawaiian, Hawaiian monk seal. Another commission is the International Whaling Commission. Uh, International Whaling Commission was established in 1944 after the brutal uh, uh, killing of whales. It is, a government, it is governed by International Convention for the Regulation of Whaling. Its aim is to avoid the extension of whales as a result of their killing, extensive killing. They have 40 members. Uh, another trust is the International Snow Leaper Trust. The main goal of this organization is to protect the snow leopard. And anal anal analysis of all the issue facing snow leopard conservation. Another foundation is the International Crane Foundation. 
The International Grant Foundation was ICF was established in 1973. The ICF works around the world to protect cranes and the habitats on which they depend. To improve and protect cranes, they restore to restore their habitats, provide better shelter to the cranes, provide better environment for their breeding. The ICF provides education about cranes on three levels, local, national and international. The Siberian uh, cranes migrate here every year in special season when their homeland or native land are not suitable for them. Then there is the WSPA, World Society for the Protection of Animals. It's a non-governmental organization and the head office is located in London. The mission is uh, of the WSPA has been working to end cruelty toward animals and to improve their welfare for future. WA, WSPA uh, save wildlife and wild la wildlands. So this is a WSPA, not WAPS. Uh, the, uh, another one is International Council for Game and Wildlife Conservation. It was established in 1928 and since then it has gained global recognition in the field of conservation of wildlife. The organization unites many states as members uh, from different countries. They work in over four, 40 countries during its long years of existence. It has achieved major goals in the conservation of endangered species around the world. In present time, they have transferred their office from Central Europe to Hungary. Uh, another society is the Royal Society for the Protection of Birds. This organization uh, uh, was established in 1988. Today, the RSBB has over 1 million members with a network of 12,200 volunteers all work for the protection of birds. The RSPB protects and restores habitats for birds and other wildlife uh, conduct recovery projects. The differences for watching and listening. Take care of the office.